Welcome to Bobbin Talk. In this video, I will show you how to add multiple avatars in the same plane and how to customize their poses. So for the purpose, we will go just to 3D window. I'm clicking down here on the left side, just on 3D. And we need to come to the library. If you're at the bottom of the library, just scroll up until you see avatar. Left click on avatar and you will have all of the various options for different avatars. We have 3D shapes as avatars. You can left click and see what kind of shapes you have here. Go back if you want to see the other options. We have two female, two male, and one folder with kid versions. So let's start with a female. Let's go to female version two. You could go either one, it doesn't matter. And let's take a look. We have three different versions here. Let's start with the first one, that is Fei Fei. And left click to add her to the window, and she will just appear. Notice that she always appears at zero, zero down here on the grid. And in order for us to add a second avatar, we would need to move her because if we add a second avatar, so right click and add to workspace, it will add it exactly on the same spot unless you have changed here the uh, position. So I had already uh, changed the position here, but you have default, which is 0, 0, 0. This is the default that is always here. So if you just add an avatar, it will add her on top of her in the same exact spot. So you can barely see her. You just see a little bit of her skin uh, because she is in the same exact pose in the same exact spot. Um, if you were to change her pose, you would actually see, let's see, let's click on... 0, 04 here, uh, and it's asking which one. It doesn't matter which one right now. Um, so you can see that we have two avatars in the same exact spot. Obviously, we need to move one of those, but I will show you how to do that. Let's uh, right now just delete one avatar. It will make a little easier. So let's go. We have one avatar that is added to the workspace. In order to move her, we need to get the gizmo tool. Uh, if you just left click on her, it just selects different parts of her and you can change the different textures and the mapping and all of that. In order to get the gizmo tool to move her, we need to actually come to this avatar option here and go to show X-ray joints or shift X. So now we have all of her joints and um, you see that there is a dot here in the middle. If you left click on that, you will have the gizmo tool that moves the whole body. So you can left click to activate the gizmo tool and then grab either one of these um, arrows here to move her uh, forwards, backwards, wherever you like. Obviously, if you grab the rotating ones, it will rotate her in space in whatever direction you choose. So, um, you know, you could place her lying down on the floor. You can change the position in any way and shape. So keep in mind that in order to move the whole body, you need to move this. You need to click on the central dot. If you click on particular joints, then you will be moving and rotating those joints. And that's one way of um, changing her body and customizing the pose. But let's add another avatar and then we'll talk about how we can change. So right now she is away from zero, zero coordinates. I will actually, whoop, so make sure that it is the center and see how everything is highlighted. Her whole body is yellow. All of her joints are yellow. So now we know that if I move her, it will move the whole body. So now if we want to add another avatar, I'm going to unclick the joints so we can see her in full glory. Now we can add another avatar and it will be placed in the center. So let's add actually a male avatar. Um, any of these are good. So do not double click because if you double click it will just open it and it will erase the previous one right click and choose add to workspace and here you have an option 
right now it will place it at zero 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 if you play with these keep in mind that here it's in meters so if you place 20 meters it will put her really far back so you could say feet inches centimeters millimeters and be really exact of where you want to place him or her whatever the or the object whatever the avatar is so i could say inches uh, x could be let's say 10 inches y is height so we're gonna uh, we want her we want him to stay on the ground so we'll keep that and i'll do let's say 20 inches for z so let's see what that would do so you can see that he got placed a little bit forward and off of the zero zero and a little bit to the right side so we can also as soon as he appears he has the gizmo tool so yes you can actually adjust him and place him anywhere you like so let's say we place him a little more to the back and let's add he's a little too high now so let's put him down on the ground and obviously you can uh, move around and see exactly where we're placing him so let's um, grab a different object you can also choose a child any child will do and again if you left click it will replace the avatars we don't want to do that we want to right click add to workspace and this time i will leave it at zero zero you'll have to change them if they're anything different click ok and that will appear right in the middle of the there you go of the working space so now we have three avatars here if you'd like to add an object you know you can go back um, and let's say we forgot to move this avatar is sitting right there in the middle go to a 3d shape and let's grab one of these for example it doesn't matter which one and again right click don't left double click because that will erase the other ones right click add to workspace and let's leave it at zero 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 so that will interfere with the child it's right there in between his legs but we know that we can grab it with the gizmo tool and change the location and remember if you click on this little gizmo here on the square you will get the three different pulleys that will help you change the size of whatever that shape is so i'm just going to make it a little bigger and maybe that becomes some kind of an object where uh, somebody is leaning on it or they have um, so i'm going to left click to get the regular gizmo tool where maybe they're placing something maybe they're leaning on this uh, somebody could be sitting on this object and that is my arrangement right now so now we have three different human avatars and one object as an avatar now we can customize what they look like so in order to do that we need to uh, pull out the x-rays so we're going to come here left click once on show x-ray joints and we have all of the x-ray joints for all of the figures notice that you have this little uh, tool up here the ik window and keep in mind that as soon as you open the x-ray joints you get all of the joints and you have this purple dot that gives you control over the whole figure so you could grab the figure with the purple dot and just move the figure as it is or you could also grab individual uh, points of the figure so you can uh, left click and get the gizmo tool and you got to be really gentle and really careful with these because they move really fast and they can move in really strange ways uh, that look a bit inhuman and uh, you can also rotate the arm and you can really move things in space now if you want to get a lot more precise you come up here to ik show ik joints and now you have a couple of other options the first one is edit full body so this one is blue and it's activated and now you see that we have a variety of green dots so you could grab anywhere on the green dots and move the full figure and this allows you to just move the whole figure instead of just individual joints but keep in mind that moving one of these joints affects 
everything else in the body. So if you want a particular pose, for example, maybe I want to get the child actually uh, to sit on this and you can, you know, start to adjust, you know, how, or maybe he's leaning or just kind of has one leg on it, you know, you will adjust the pose however you like. If you want to get half of the body, you will come up here, left click on the next one. And now you have more control over just certain parts. So you're not moving the whole body. You're moving. So I can't lift him off the ground. With that tool, you're moving only that particular uh, join that particular leg, that particular um, foot or whatever you like. So that is more individualized positioning. Again, if I come to the left one here that has the blue dots on the head, the arms and the feet, now I'm affecting the whole body when I move. Oop. So that was quite creepy. So you got to be really gentle and soft with this and really uh, play around little by little and see, you know, what you would like to do and how, just be careful and see how that will affect the body. And again, we can go here and just work with the whole body, move the whole body, or we can go and move individual joints. And when you're done with the positioning, come back up here and turn off the show x-ray and you have your next pose. If you like what you saw in this video, if you learned something, please like the video. Feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to Bobbin Talk so you don't miss any of the new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.